It's the Packers. It's the 49ers. It's the divisional round playoffs on Saturday in San Francisco. It's going to be a tall task for Green Bay. They were counted out and heavy underdogs against the Cowboys. They were able to come away with that shocking victory and proved a lot of the doubters wrong. This one is an even taller task, given the fact that the Niners got the first round by. They're going to be fully rested. They have been an absolute wagon for a majority of the season. Brock Purdy, MVP candidate through probably the first half or so of the season, entering his fourth postseason start. He led the league in passer rating. Didn't even have to do all that much because when you throw Christian McCaffrey in the mix, good things will happen. You also have the fact that it's Kyle Shanahan, the quarterback guru, being his coach for the last couple seasons since he's been there. And McCaffrey in this one to me, and then of course you throw in Debo Samuel, Brandon Ayuk, George Kill, he's regressed over the last season or so, but still a threat, still somebody that Qua- that's going to give Quay Walker and Devondre Campbell a problem uh, in the secondary or, or in the second level. And the thing with Christian McCaffrey, so influential in the pass attack and the rush attack. He had 14 total touchdowns on the season, roughly 1,400 yards on the ground, a true MVP candidate pretty much throughout the entire season. Obviously, it's a quarterback-given award, so doesn't have much of a shot there. It's probably going to go to Lamar Jackson. But he's a guy that should be the focal point for defensive coordinator Joe, ba- Joe Barry and the Packers defense. He's going to give TJ Slayton, Kenny Clark, um, Rashawn Gary, Preston Smith, he's going to give them a run for their money. Carl Brooks, he's been great out of Bowling Green, the rookie, uh, backup, defen- uh, backup nose tackle. He's been great as well. I'm sure he's going to get cycled in. Luca Van Ness. All of them are going to have their work cut out for them in dealing with Christian McCaffrey and also dealing with him, Devondre, Devondre Campbell and Quay Walker, I mentioned them, they're going to have to pick up McCaffrey when he goes out uh, on passing plays. And it's it's not going to be easy by any stretch of the imagination. That should be the biggest thing, trying to slow down McCaffrey. Because you're not going to stop McCaffrey, but you have to try to slow him down. On the Packers side of things, with Jordan Love and company, Jordan Love, spreading the ball around is his forte. He gets it to... Any and all of his receivers, whether it's Luke Musgrave or Tucker Craft, the two big tight ends, or it's Jaden Reed, Romeo Dobbs, Malik Heath, uh, Christian Watson. Hopefully he's a go uh, for Saturday. He should be. So the biggest thing is going to be for Jordan Love, dealing with the pressure because you know they're going to dial up the pressure with Chase Young and Nick Bosa. They are going to give Rasheed Walker, the rookie le- left tackle, and Zach Tom the second year right tackle, they're going to give them major problems. you got to give Love enough time to find his guys. Now, Love has, at least from what we've seen, superb footwork. He makes the off-platform throws. He can make the off-platform throws. And he's he's going to have his, his work come, cut out for him against this Niners defense. Uh, I, I really think that if, in fact, they can get the ball out quick, it's going to have to be quick passing plays, and try to get Aaron Jones, who's been rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling through five straight. I believe he's got 100-plus on the ground. Continues to ride that hot streak, uh, running the rock. He was outstanding against the Cowboys. Got to get him involved in the passing attack. A.J. Dillon, he's questionable for this one. It would be big to have him, too, to use in third, you know, third and two, third and one situations, even a fourth and one, where you can get that big brute of a back and Hand it to him and, and let him and allow him to move the try to move the sticks. It's not gonna be it's not gonna be pretty. Eric Armstead, Jerron Hargrave, one of the best run stoppers in the game. Uh, he, he was great with Philly. He was a huge acquisition for the Niners. I think it was last season or the season before. They have a complete team on both sides of the ball. Now the way the Packers have been playing, you could say the same thing for the Packers. Another big thing to note: Jair Alexander with that ankle, he is questionable. That will be monumental for the Packers secondary because you need to provide them some help. Corey Ballantyne, Carrington Valentine, the rookie cornerback, they're definitely going to need some help in the secondary in dealing with Debo Samuel and Brandon Ayuk. And, you know, real quick also, I want to also mention a take that Mark Chamora, um, Packers tight end, Packers legend, won the Super Bowl with them in 97. He made a take on ESPN Milwaukee. And he basically said that taking a roughing the passer 
and really licking Brock Purdy wouldn't be the worst idea in the world. Now, I don't know if I'd go that far as to say, like, got to hit the guy late and, and try to rough him up. But you certainly have to try to intimidate Brock Purdy. Get pressure on him. Bring the blitzes and make him uncomfortable because he's going to have McCaffrey at his disposal and all of his and all those wide receiver uh, weapons that I talked about, especially if you don't have Jair Alexander, you're really going to need to focus on getting pressure on Purdy and trying any way you can to contain Christian McCaffrey. With that being said, I think it's going to be a tight knit game. It's going to be close until the end. But I can see the Packers finally getting over that hump of beating the 49ers in the postseason just based on how hot they've been and how hot Jordan Love has been. The team is firing on all cylinders. It's going to be a true head-to-head -head battle. I can see the Packers coming away with this one 24-17.